In our morning rounds, a milestone in the fight against life-threatening fat. The FDA is giving the go-ahead for an implant that's designed to trick your brain into thinking that you're full. Now, this is the first anti-obesity device approved by the government in eight years. Our Dr. Holly Phillips joins us to tell us more about it. So this is a big, big deal. You know, it really is. It's, it's a completely new approach, Gail. There's nothing out there like it. So it is exciting that the FDA finally went ahead and improved it. Um, you know, the way it works, it involves putting a, a small pacemaker-sized device into the abdomen. Uh, and, and that device has wire leads and then electrodes that attach to a nerve called the abdominal vagus nerve, right where the esophagus meets the stomach. Now, now the vagus nerve usually sends signals from the stomach to the brain to tell the brain whether or not the stomach is full. What this device does is it disrupts those signals and the end result is you eat less and you lose weight. Wow. So it's surgery, but it's not considered as invasive as other procedures, right? Exactly. You know, the, the reality is for people who are morbidly obese, diet and exercise are, of course, the safest option mm. to lose weight, but the majority of people won't be able to keep the weight off. Um, options like gastric banding and laparic, you know, laparoscopic, um, I'm sorry, gastric bypass and laparoscopic banding, they're good options and they're absolutely effective, but they're much more invasive than this one. So it's for anybody who can't do it another way. Right. It's for a specific group of people. You have to have a body mass index between 35 and 45 and also some obesity related condition, maybe diabetes. And to put it in perspective, obesity is defined as a body mass index, that's a measure of your height versus your weight, mm -hmm. of over 30. This is for people who have a body mass index of 35 to 45, mm -hmm. which really means you're morbidly obese or severely obese. What amazes me about this is somehow you can do something like this and affect the nerve that's going to the brain. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are the what's the potential of that? Yeah. Not just about uh, obesity, but a whole range of things. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, it Trigger really does. Action. Absolutely. It really opens up a new way of thinking how we how we can lose weight, how we can communicate with the brain, right. and sort of what measures we need to take. Um, it's very exciting, and it, it might be available soon, but we'll have to see when insurances decide to cover it. All right, Dr. Holly Phillips, thank you so much. Another breakthrough.